and welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna get right into a Christopher Mitchell video. I promise you I won't give you a 15 minute video on how to report a channel for the 70th time. I won't be doing that. We're gonna talk about what he's up to and what he what he how he wants to portray his life. You know, one thing about liars like Christopher Mitchell on the internet. They just keep repeating the same lies over and over. What they did, how great they are. Here's the things you got to understand. He's his message is being sent and hopefully received to like you, low IQ individuals. Give you an example. How you can make just ten dollars a day. How that'll change your life. How you can do certain little things that are really meaningless to change your life. And then he. He wants to show you where he's made $138,000 in one month, but he never really shows you anything. Where's he living at now? He lives in Las Vegas. He doesn't show you the place. He showed you the dream penthouse up in, up in Chicago. You know, he showed you all that stuff, but this guy moves around. If you're a professional gambler, there's no other place to live than Las Vegas. You know, the stupid stuff he does and says, I mean, Quit your job, just over broke. Guys, think about this. How many people do you know that just go around and does the thing, do the, does what he does? Tells you to gamble. Even professional gamblers have some type of job. You know, the dealers are doing a job. The people working the casino are doing the job. The pit bosses, the people running the hotels, the people working in the restaurants, the people fixing your cars, the people selling you real estate. People have to have income. How do you think you're going to get a massive bankroll? It, it, the guy is just a lunatic. But you know, if you cater to these people that are really stupid, people that would join his inner circle and give him close to $1,000 a month, month after month, for nothing, he found suckers. He found weak, desperate people. You know, and I think that's kind of drying up. You know? Losing his channels, his fake subscribers, his fake uh, results. What assets does this multimillionaire have? I mean, think about it. Most people with any kind of wealth have a residence that they'd like to show you. Bank accounts, vehicles, real assets, not leased vehicles, not Airbnbs that they're renting. Not little condominiums that they that they're getting a deal on. I mean, this guy can't tell the truth. He still sticks to the Little League World Series lies. He still sticks to how much money he makes a month. But one thing he always does is he never shows anything. So what? He flashes ten, twenty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars. So what? That that's I'm not trying to sound like that's not a lot of money, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not a lot of money. You know, he loses his big bets. He even posted a video on his Facebook page that somebody sent me where he's screaming into a Dallas Stars face. I mean, I'm telling you, better be careful where you do that. And you better be careful who the individual you're screaming in their face. <laughs> don't advise it. You know, don't do that in Philadelphia, Houston, Pittsburgh. I wouldn't be screaming in people's faces. You may get away, get, get away with that in Dallas at a to the right individual, but what 40 something year old man screams in another man's face? Anyways, he, you know, he, he, he plays the Dallas Stars versus the Las Vegas Knights and he, that's all quiet now because you know he bets, he's just a typical homer. He bets on his team, whether it's the Dodgers, the A's, how can you be a Dodgers and an A's fan? That's like being an Astro and a Ranger fan or a Dodger and a Giants fan. It's not possible. Here's a better one. A Steelers and a Cowboy fan. Red Sox, Yankees. So he's a Dodger and an A's fan. You know, he's he still, you know, nothing he says is truth, but he's a true, he bets home, homers. He's a homer. He can never bet against his own team. So yelling in that fan's face and then going, uh, back to the, the game, the deciding game, Dallas ends up winning, knocking the Knights out of the playoffs. Blows my mind. Blows my mind how, how he gets his karma in so many ways against the Ohio State Buckeyes, his, his homer team. Boy, how much money have they cost him over the years? Guys, 
people making a hundred and some odd thousand dollars a month don't have time to make YouTube videos, social media posts, and tell you how great they are. When was the last time he's done a mastermind group? Think about that. When was the last time he's, um, you know, talked about his inner circle? You know, it just blows your mind. You know, I, I, if you're new to this channel and you're new to Christopher Mitchell, realize whatever you pay him, it's a joke. You're not getting anything. You're, you're basically supporting his lifestyle as a scammer and his wife's pathetic ways of living with somebody who's just basically preys off of weak people. You know, if you're in his inner circle, you've got issues. You know, what are you getting for $1,000 a month? Here's what he's lied about, that the lies that just, I don't know how he stays on the internet. Lifetime. You're going to be a lifetime member if you do this. That's all gone. You know, so he's still trying to direct you to bet online. You know, so guys, if you're going to gamble online, just go directly to the company. You're probably going to get a better deal anyway than going to his link and having to have the, um, the have to have to actually, you know, when you lose, you know, you're he's profiting from your losses. Think about some of this stuff. You know, he's just the, he's just a scammer. He takes to you know just like his MLM days. He's taken what he's learned in multi-level marketing and just used it in gambling, and in social media. You know, somebody that's the goat known all over the world. He has no followers. He has no social influence. You know, he's doing this new web uh, this new YouTube page. What's he got? Three or four hundred subscribers. He's about due to go buy some. Remember when he bought them, like Simple Life, Bart? All of a sudden, it skyrockets his channel. Blows your mind that these people do. They're so freaking stupid in what they do to make themselves feel better. Let's talk down to the subscribers. Let's talk down and call people jealous douchebag haters, because he doesn't want you to think for himself. He wants you to give him money month after month to sit in his little inner circle and get beat up he'll post stuff online all the time about people crying and stuff it's just direct digs towards the people that are asking him in questions and that's the thing about scammers do never never ask them never give them any kind of where they have to explain themselves you know he's not a leader he's a scam artist guys if you're new to the channel and you're thinking about anything Christopher Mitchell there's literally 5,000 videos out there telling you do not do what he does. The updates are he's just stuck because he loves the limelight and he thinks by posting videos there's he's getting this attention and he hopes to reel in new new suckers. But guys, pretty much sure the gig's drying up. You guys hang on to your jobs, work hard, put money away, live on less than you make, invest in yourself. Don't think you're going to do it at the casino gambling. Y'all have a great day. Leave me your comments and we'll talk to y'all in the next video.